Hey, kids. Hey, kids. Get your shovel now, Billy. How's life? Life sucks. Fuck me. Like this, we got man. this demon semen coming out of the freaking air. <laughs> Literally just renewed my contracts with the apartments the other day. I got to go pick up the signed copies and the checks on Monday. Yeah. And now they're calling for four to six inches of snow tonight into tomorrow morning. The grass is already growing in most areas, like all turned green and growing. Now we have this. Welcome to New York. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm almost on E. I don't know where Billy's truck is. I almost guarantee it's almost on E as well. Um, but uh, his phone just connected my truck. Back off, son. Um, anyway, so I'm like, you know what? It's 3.30. The storm is supposed to end by 3 in the morning, which is perfect. If we go out by 4, we could have everything done by probably 9, 10 a.m. at the latest. Um, but... Uh, I said, let's just go fuel the trucks up, go to the shop, put the plows on, take them home, back them in the driveway, and shut them off and leave them. That way they're fueled up, the plows are on, they're ready to go. If we got to get up in the middle of the night and go plowing snow, then everything will be done. They'll be ready to go. Sorry. I knew Invisaligns are really tight. But anyway, so... I said, let's just go get that done. I'm making homemade meatballs and spaghetti for dinner. So we'll just go home and relax the rest of the day. I don't know if we're going to get it. A couple of them said one to three inches and a couple of them said four to six. So who knows? We'll see what happens. But the apartments, I did just mention, I just signed the, or I got to go Monday to pick up the signed copies of the contracts and the checks for the apartments. So all three locations, I did get them again this year. Uh, I didn't lose them at the end of last year, but I, I explained before in past videos that a new owner bought out the other couple partners, and he's from Florida. He's a lawyer, and he knows absolutely nothing about Western New York. Um, so he didn't like my price for plowing that I plowed for every year. Some guy came in. He underbid me. Um, he underbid me by... Just the, I'll tell you, I never give numbers, but I'll just give you these numbers. So just the one location, you guys know I do three different towns, three different locations for these apartments. Just the one location, last year I plowed it for $19,910. That was for the for the winter, just for plowing, okay? This guy bid me, underbid me at $10,200. Uh, one man guy, from what I understand, I'm not even sure who it is, drives a half ton truck with a seven and a half foot wide blade with no wings on it. So, um, so the property manager was not happy about any of that. Um, it was just a total mess. He's like, I already know what's gonna happen. Anytime we've had any of these other companies in the past, it's been lawsuit after lawsuit. It's been slip and fall after slip and fall, damage, this and that. So he knew it was gonna happen. And sure shit, we only had like four storms this year. And they've had to call the guy anywhere from eight to 12 times, his words, to get the guy to show up. When he did show up, he did a half-assed job. Uh, I guess last time he put snow into a car, um, just damage, stuff like that. So um, he called me like a month ago and said, if we get any more snow this year, can you just cover this location? And it's the one closest to me. And I said, yeah, absolutely, don't worry about it. Um, the other ones are outside of my plowing area. I just mow those and landscape them and pressure wash them, all that stuff. But they're, they're out of my location for as far as as, as far as I go for snow plowing. And uh, so those got subbed out to two other companies, which I knew them, I actually referred them. Um, so I said, yes, I will take care of so He actually just texted me like an hour ago and said, we're still on, right? If we get this storm, you're gonna take care of us? Like, I got you, don't worry about it. We, we'll take care of it like we always do. He's like, great, thank you. So we have that added on. No big deal, nothing we can't handle. Um, but I just wanna make sure these trucks are ready to go and uh, fueled up and uh, plows on, parked in the driveway, just sitting waiting for us. So we did take the sandbags out of both of our trucks like a month and a half ago. We've had a bunch of 60 degree days, a few 70 degree days. We thought snow was done. Uh, we both have brand new, extremely aggressive tires on our 
trucks, uh, mine are an all-terrain tire. Billy actually has MTs, mud terrain tires on his. Um, so I don't see us needing sandbags. We, we should be fine. Um, it's it's not going to matter. Anything four inches and under, we usually don't even put these trucks in four-wheel drive because they grip so well anyway. Um, so I'm sure we'll be perfectly fine. I'm not about to go put 10 80-pound bags back in each truck. I'm just not going to do it. So not for a small storm like this. But who knows if we'll actually even get it. But anyway, so we'll run to the shop and uh, or run to the gas station real quick, fuel up, and then we're going to run over to the shop and throw the plows on. Uh, I think I'm going to put the 810 on. I don't want the V-Blade. I want the 810 because it's better for parking lots. And I got to do a state trooper barracks anyway. Um, but now having to do the apartments as well, I'd much rather have the 810. So that's what we're going to do. Billy left his wallet in my glove box. Kind of hard for him to get fuel without a wallet. Here, you need this? Yep. There you go. Here you go, Billy. There's your monies, Billy. Hey, don't throw it. Oh, man. Could have dropped everything. Jesus. Damn kids. What's our fuel at today? 335 a gallon. Absolutely ridiculous. Two months ago, it was at 305. Thanks, Biden. Well, there they are. Trailers and everything all ready to go for the season, but you know, here's the snow plows. Just sitting over here. Why does it look like mine dropped to the ground? That's weird. That'd be no bueno. Huh. Well, it's got the jack in it, so either way, just jack it up. I better go out and take a look at this. Yeah, like that sucker's sitting right on the ground. I wonder if this jack sunk in too much. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's raising up there now, boys and girls. I don't know if it'll raise up enough. I hope so. Surprised the jack didn't sink in the ground, too. Uh, it could be close. We'll see. I hope Billy's didn't sink, because that thing's a nightmare. you got to get a floor jack to freaking raise that thing up. Where are we at? Where are we at? Oh yeah. All right. All right, let me hook these plugs up. I'll bring you guys back. Okay. Billy's all hooked up. I'm hooked up, probably froze the ground. Yeah, okay, we're up. Left, right, back, wings out. Uh, both wings are out to 10 foot. Bring both wings in back to eight foot. Good to go. Down, back up. Good to go. I'll just hang that up. Okay. That's that. So we got fuel in the trucks. We got both the plows on. Got about a half inch here been snowing lightly all day it's definitely starting to snow harder but we'll be able to see what happens we should be fine should be fine everything's in fact it's fine everything's fine we'll be fine but all right so now we're in business now everything is set up and ready to go and we're gonna go home park the trucks Gonna have some homemade meatballs and scotty for dinner. Can't see because I got a funeral going on over here. Nobody can see anything. Uh, make sure everything is set up and ready to go. Everything is set up and ready to go. So, scotty meatballs for dinner, and then we uh, guess we'll find out if we go out plowing. If we do, I'm gonna bring you guys back and. I will add that to the second half of this video because I'm not just going to make a video just about this, what I've talked about so far. So um, I will bring you guys back and uh, take you plowing with me. See what kind of footage we can get you. Hopefully this is the last time of the year I'll even have a chance to plow because I don't want to do it. I want to mow grass. Well, it is 4 a.m. It is cold outside. There goes Billy. Kind of doing our routes a little different um 
kind of breaking them up a little bit. I'm sending him to do a certain area. I'm going to hit the apartment complex as a state trooper barracks. And then a couple drivers are out that way. And I'm going to meet up with him. We're going to go from there. But probably got about three inches here. I'm guessing above the hill to be worse. So, but I went to bed at like 9 o'clock. And I've been up on and off all night long. Not able to sleep. Sweating, freezing cold. Sweating, freezing cold. And no, I'm not sick. That's just what happens to me. It is sucks. But all right, let me see what kind of footage I can get you guys. See what we got to deal with here. Okay, I don't know how much you guys can see with the dark, but the fun part about this one is going to be that the uh, the guy that originally had the contract for this place never put in any plow markers. So I got to kind of guesstimate what I'm freaking doing here, which I plowed it enough times, it shouldn't be that big a deal. But it's kind of annoying. This is what happens when guys that shouldn't be doing commercial snow plowing come in and bid a contract and then bid it for such a low amount because one, they don't know what they're doing, and two, you end up with stuff like this. So now I have to deal with, you know, this fun stuff. It shouldn't be that bad of an issue. There's a huge speed bump right here. I remember that. There it is. Oh, yeah. Good times. Do, 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 do. This is the side Billy always plowed. I always plowed the other side. So, the guy that was plowing this had gotten the contract for it, was plowing it with a little half ton truck and a seven and a half foot wide blade with no wings. That must have been miserable for him. But my blade's out at 10 foot right now, so. And there ain't that much snow here maybe three inches, three and a half inches. So, this ain't gonna take much for me at all. Where's it? There it is, a speed bump. And it's so brittle because it was put in the wrong way. So, last year I chipped a piece of it off. And when I was here the other day looking at stuff for the landscaping for this year I uh, I saw that the guy the other guy that was plowing this has definitely chipped off a pretty big chunk of it too but see even with wings see because this plow is angled on both sides when it's extended out to 10 foot well it's angled when it's at 8 foot as well but um even I left a little runoff right there. So you can imagine what that guy was leaving with a straight blade with no wings, no nothing. The runoff he must have been leaving. Ugh. No thanks. Better him than me. This would take forever. Okay, I know this is a little bit wider than what I have plowed right here. So I'm just going to go over a little bit more. I don't want to go leaving ruts through that grass right there. I already have to fix what that guy did. Not that it really matters much because they're paying me to take care of what he screwed up, so. But I don't want to give myself even more work. So I don't know how much as you guys can see, but I just cleared this whole thing and I left two small wind roll paths right there that I just have to go back and clean up, which I'll clean up in two quick pushes and this side's done. The parking spaces we're not really responsible for. It's just clearing the main entryways. Um, I always clear those anyway. So I'll knock those out real quick, but 
It's way easier. Alright, I'm gonna stop talking now. I'll put some music to the rest of this. So there's the apartments right there and then the driveway I do across the street. Now if you guys remember from last year's plowing videos, and you probably saw it when I was on the back half of the apartments, there's also a side that goes in right here to the left. And that's even wider than the other side that I did. But for, oh, well, gotta put it back in two wheel drive. Um, but for some reason, so out of the three buildings back there, two of them are government funded. So. They really need to be stayed up on as far as everything goes. The mowing, the landscaping, the pressure washing of the buildings, the snow plowing, all that stuff. They really need to be stayed up on. So, um, but the building on the right is not. And it, it's really confusing. But anyway, out of all three locations, that's the only one that's like that. So, um, so yeah, it's, uh, I guess whatever deal he had with the other guy that got the bid for this year for everything, for whatever reason, 
that guy still has to do the right hand side so i don't know the left side and the back are done the right hand side is not done that guy's not been there i bet you i go by there it's 4 41 right now i bet you i go by there at 9 10 o'clock in the morning it still won't be done so i don't know like I said, I don't even know who the guy is either. I didn't ask the property manager. He would have told me. I know he would have. But I didn't ask him because I really don't care. Um, I just know whoever's doing it is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Because like I said, the property manager told me he had to call numerous times for the, for the four or five storms we've had this year, which isn't shit. Uh, he's had to call the guy numerous times just to get the guy to show up. Look at all the state trucks. There's one right there. There's two up on the throughway. A third one up on the throughway. Four state trucks right there. That's a lot of state trucks in one area. I'd like to plow with those one time. Just for the heck of it. Just go out and plow some roads. Just go out and plow some roads. I think it'd be fun. It'd be a lot better than doing driveways all the time, I'll tell you that. <laughs> But anyway, so we got to head over. Uh, I got one driveway I got to do real quick right up the road here. And then around the corner over here, I got to do the state trooper barracks. I know that's going to need it. And uh, yeah. And then I got one more driveway to hit up this way. And then I can go figure out where Billy is because I set him. I set him loose on my route because I'm pretty positive the second half of his route won't need done. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. We might end up having to do the whole thing. We might just do it anyway for the hell of it. Um, we're already out. So our trigger is three inches, as many of you guys know. So if there's at least two and a half in these driveways, we're going to hit them all. I've never had any customers complain over the years, so it is what it is. But all right, I'm going to go hit this driveway. Then we're, uh, I'll turn you guys back on when I get to the trooper barracks. And then we'll go find out where Billy is. Okay, I hit that driveway real quick. Now we're going to go hit the trooper barracks. And then I got one more driveway. One more driveway. It's around the corner from this one. From the trooper barracks here. And then, uh, then we will be golden and go catch up with Billy. So hopefully I get lucky and there's like no cars here. Oh, there's really, really not many. shift change I believe is at 6.30 6.30 or 7 so I like to get this done before it gets to that point alright I'm going to put music back on for you guys so I can turn my music back up and not get a copyright strike goodbye
okay, well, that's the trooper barracks. And apparently, Billy's stuck in a driveway somewhere. It's a paved driveway, and it's a hill that goes up. It does get very slippery. I don't know how the hell he's stuck there. He plowed the driveway, but he can't get back up the driveway to get out of there. He's got meaty MT tires on that truck. In four-wheel drive, he should have no problem going up that driveway. He said the, the ass end of the truck keeps kicking out. I mean, even without sandbags, he should be able to go up that driveway, no problem. I'm wondering if his truck is not staying in four-wheel drive. But I told him, he's in the other direction of what I'm headed right now, but I have one driveway out this way, and I'm three-quarters of the way there right now. So I said, you're going to have to sit tight for a minute because I'm not driving down to the next village and then coming back up here to hit this driveway and then driving back down there again because this driveway is the last thing I got to do before I go meet up with him and go from there. So... I was like, yeah, we're not, you're just going to have to sit tight, buddy, until I can get there. Which just ain't going to take long. Go up here, this light way up here. Make a left, go down a couple blocks, make another left, and the driveway's right there. And then I can just backtrack, take me like 10 minutes to get back to where he's at now. So, oh, fun, fun, fun times of plowing snow every year. I say I'm never doing this again. Here we are.